Here are all 200 PMP questions with answers ideal for preparing for your PMP, Project Management Professional, CAPM Certified Associate in Project Management, or ACP, Agile Certified Practitioner, exams. It covers everything you will need to know about Agile, from ceremonies, scaling techniques, roles and responsibilities, problems that might arise, and there are many scenario-based questions, just like on the real exams. Question 1. A customer requests a change in the technical approach for product currently in development. The project manager learns about this request during a reoccurring project review. What should the project manager do in response to the customer's request? A. Work with team members to immediately implement the new approach. B. Work with the team members to immediately implement the new approach. Have the team decide on the appropriate approach, giving them authority to implement and validate their decision in talks with stakeholders. C. Discuss the pros and cons of the proposed approach with stakeholders, then select the approach that is best for the team and notify team members. D. In order to obtain sponsor buy-in, have the team benchmark the approach. Answer B. As a technical issue, the project manager should discuss the request with the team and empower them to assess and select the best options to solve the customer's request and communicate it with them. Question 2. A project manager relies during the third iteration of product development that the template used for the project management plan is not showing updates. Which action should the project manager take? A. Assign one team member to update the project management plan, template and document any risk. B. Rank the need to update the template according to the business value for upcoming iterations. C. Avoid adding to team distraction by fixing the issue independently. D. Document the issue as a new project risk and propose a solution. Answer C. In an Azure approach, the project manager should work to protect the team against impediments around building the product. This question addresses administrative work that doesn't require technical knowledge and should be handled by the PM. Question 3. During a challenging shareholder meeting, the stakeholder indicates that they will reject on iterations deliverable. What should the project manager do? A. Send a request to the project sponsor asking them to update the project charter, then reassign the responsibilities and authorities. B. Meet with the project team to add new and improved features to replace the features that were rejected. C. Work with stakeholders to create a shared approach that will address the issues of concern. D. File a change request with the Change Control Board CCB, in order to add budget to the baseline. Answer C. The project manager and the team should work with the customer to identify what the reasons are for the rejecting the deliverable. Iteration or sprint reviews are designed to show the customer what the team has produced in that iteration or sprint. This is a perfect opportunity for the customer to raise their concerns, ask questions and ask for changes. Question 4. During work on a government project, stakeholders pressure the project manager to submit to their preferred actions, while the project manager must coordinate and plan with multiple stakeholders. The project manager must also deal with complex 
relations, and frequently changing scenarios. What should the project manager considering doing? Choose two. A. Use the prioritization method of categorization. B. Use the salience model of categorization. C. Use the transformation model of categorization. D. Use the transaction model of categorization. Answer A and B. Both the salience model and prioritization can be used to categorize stakeholders, especially when the scenario is for frequently changing, complex relationships with multiple representatives involved. Question 5. A project manager is working on a small project that is critical for a larger program milestone. A new resource has been assigned to replace a key resource who had to leave the project. Unfortunately, an outside stakeholder claims that the person who assigned the new resource sent their weakest team member. How should the project manager approach this rumor? A. Assess the new resource ability to perform the necessary work by testing their communication skills with the current project team. B. Evaluate the skills of the new resource to see how the resource can provide value to the project. C. File a request with the project management office PMO manager in order to obtain a better resource. D. Address the drama with the new resource functional manager to mitigate any conflict within the project team. Answer B. A. No, this is not the best use of time and unfairly makes breach assumptions on the candidate. B. Yes, this is the best answer. Without seeing performance firsthand, there is no available proof to the hearsay. C. No, this assumes that hearsay is fact, which may create a strained relationship between the project manager and functional manager. D. No, while this may give solace to the project manager, this is inappropriate and unwarranted. Question 6. A project manager has local and virtual team members for a project. To manage scheduling priority conflicts among team members, the project manager schedules a video conference call. Which statement is true about this scenario? A. It demonstrates the smooth or accommodate conflict resolution technique. B. It is an example of the collaborate or problem solve conflict resolution technique. C. It demonstrates the force or direct conflict resolution technique. D. It is an example of the compromise or reconcile conflict resolution technique. Answer B. Collaborate or problem solving incorporates multiple viewpoints and insights from differing perspectives. It requires a cooperative attitude and open dialogue that typically leads to consensus and commitment. This approach can result in a win-win situation. Question 7. A project manager needs to ensure that all data security requirements are covered during a data warehouse development project's execution stage. Each of the databases created during different project phases will have a specific data security policy to comply with governmental data security laws. How should the project manager plan to meet these requirements? A. Plan a database development specification, then regularly check to ensure the developer aligns with the specification. B. Arrange for review of the data security status on a quarterly basis and recommend remedial steps if non-compliance is found. C. Sell the database developer to submit documentation of data security items and the steps they take to correct items that do not meet specifications. D. 
add a quality assurance specialist resource to the project team, who will be responsible for monitoring the data security quality of the project. Answer B. Clearly documenting how key requirements have been met is a great way to ensure quality and identifying any gaps that need to be addressed. Question 8. A smartphone manufacturer is reassessing its product development methods in response to a sharp increase in user complaints. Analysis of the complaints indicates that the users try to use some features in ways that designers did not anticipate. Given these findings, which agile practice would most effectively prevent the problem? A. Acceptance test-driven development B. Smoke testing C. Behavior-driven development D. Red-green refactor Answer C. Behavior-driven development is an extension of test-driven development whereby automated tests and simulations are created before developing the product. Flaws are discovered by forcing the test to fail before producing the unit in a way that will pass the test. Distractures are incorrect because the tests are either based on team assumptions, ATDD, minimal smoke or too limited Personal. Question 9. Six months into a strategic agile project, company executives are closely monitoring its progress. The COO expresses his frustration that the last weekly burned out charts show the projected completion date significantly moving back and forward several times. How can the project manager forecast the completion date with more accuracy and stability? A. Ensure upcoming backlog items are elaborated in more detail with the team. B. Allocate the executive committee on the flexible nature of Azure planning. C. Plan for variable science iterations according to story complexity and load. D. Reduce frequency of the progress reports sent to senior stakeholders. Answer A. Erratic progress curve variations are typical of inconsistent or uninformed story point estimates. Backlog refinement can ensure that overly complex stories are broken down and that past progress informs new story estimates. Distractors are false because they either ignore stakeholder needs or violate Azure timeboxing principle. Variable science iterations. Question 10. A project manager experience in predictive methods is taking on an Azure project for the first time. To help in adjusting, the project manager makes a watch list of situations that arise from inadequate action as a servant leader, which situations would result from a lack of servant leadership. Choose three. A. Team members avoid taking on challenging tasks. B. Team members avoid direct communication with other departments. C. Team members raise impediments they are unable to eliminate. D. High performers in the team move to more senior positions. Answer A, B, D. A is correct because servant leaders must promote professional development through challenges. B is correct because servant leaders help team build bridges with external groups. D is correct because servant leaders educate stakeholders on Azure business value. C and E are incorrect because servant leaders remove impediments and support personal growth beyond project interests. Question 11. 
a new team member, unaccustomed to agile practices, becomes nervous when an operations engineer who often criticizes his previous work appears at the morning stand-up meeting. What could justify the project manager's invitation to the operations engineer? A. It is an agile practice used to prevent routine setting into daily meetings. B. It is a way to boost the new member's performance and keep him on his toes. C. It is a standard practice in Azure to proactively correct misalignments. D. It is a way for the project manager to learn more about the new member. Answer C. Proactively seeking input from different stakeholders and transparency of project communications is considered good agile practice. Distractors are wrong because they do not promote the team members' integration to the team by promoting trust, breaking routine, boost performance, or not favoring direct communication, learning about members indirectly. Question twelve. A chant of stories, uncompleted at the end of iterations, has become apparent. Multiple team members worked on these stories, and no blockers were identified. What can the agile team do to resolve the situation? A. Put the stories back into the product backlog and wait for a less intensive iteration to work on them. B. Use the next iteration for team spike to determine feasibility of completing the stories. C. Put the stories in the block column and work with the product owner to remove impediments. D. Work with the product owner to further break down the stories in the backlog and update the definition of ready. Answer D. When stories cannot be completed within one iteration, it is typically because the story is not broken down into small enough goals. Distractors are incorrect because they do not address the root because of waiting or setting too blocked. Product owner cannot remove impediments if they are not identified and analyzed. Devoting full team to a spike is inefficient and bypasses normal backlog refinement. Question 13. The empowered Azure team showed impressive progress in the first four iterations, but now the product owner has noticed low output in the latest five iterations without any apparent reason. What could be the cause of this situation? A. The team worked on low complexity stories from the backlog in the first four iterations. B. Technical debt has set in and the team's output will keep dropping until the course is eliminated. C. The team was in the storming stage of the development and now have moved to norming. C. There is most likely a specific underperforming team member slowing the team down. Answer A. Some Azure teams want to favor faster progress by completing less complex stories before more complex ones. Prioritization of backlog should be value-based, not speed-based. Distractors are wrong because the chain is abrupt. Technical debt is a slow degradation. A low performer would have been apparent in earlier iterations. The team is autonomous post-norming. Question 14. Several items remain in the Kanban blocked column despite the team's efforts to address them. The retrospective reveals that all the impediments can be traced back to a particular department head, one the project manager has tried to educate previously but who still shows resistance. What should the project manager do next? A. Ask the department head for budgetary compensation proportional to delays incurred due to lack of cooperation. B. 
B. U. Stakeholder analysis to identify an aligned senior stakeholder to influence the department head. C. Ask the team members to find other stakeholders who can help work around the department head's barriers. D. Set up an information radiator ranking stakeholders according to their active support of the project goals. Answer B. If stakeholders remain resistant despite the project manager's efforts, it can be a case where escalation is required. Distractors are wrong because the project manager normally would have to resolve problems within an established budget. Bypassing the stakeholder does not address the root cause which would be likely to resurface. Public shaming by rank does not promote trust and cooperation. Question 15. Several items remain in the Kanban block column despite the team efforts to resolve the issues. The retrospective reveals that all of the impediments relate to mandatory corporate business processes which introduce wait times. What should the project manager do next? A. Act as a servant leader to resolve the pending business process issues while the team attend a team building event. B. Dedicate the next iteration to team training on the business processes to help them work more autonomously. C. Work with process owners to streamline procedures and secure the team coaching on the processes. D. Work with the team to increase the story point estimates in the backlog to account for the business process delays. Answer C. The servant leader should work within the organization to simplify processes affecting the team as much as possible. However, large companies typically need internal processes which can rarely be eliminated altogether. Distractors are wrong because it is unrealistic to expect all processes to be removed during the time of a team building event. Training is part of the solution, but not at the price of a full iteration and there should also be a streamlining effort. Story points should reflect the complexity of the story itself, why business processes would be more accurately reflected as an overall reduction of story point rate over time. Question 16. The quarterly results show that competitors are driving prices down. The company is losing market share and midway into a product development project, it appears the sponsoring unit is not likely to get return on their investment. What should the project manager do? Adapt the project to these new conditions. Select 2. A. Incrementally replace local staff by outside expert staff who can work at half the hourly rate or less. B. Rescope the project to deliver the same features as the competitors to match their pricing. C. Make a cost or benefit analysis of deliverables to optimize delivery costs and speed. D. Fast track the remainder of the project to deliver the intended scope with less overhead cost. Answer C. E. Cost or benefit analysis and fixed budget incremental development are correct because they address the loss of profitability without disruption to business. 17. A high-level manager in an organization would like to use a critical project resource for a new project. Which action should the project manager take? A. Contact the program manager to resolve the issue. B. Request that the high-level manager provides a replacement. C. Use the legitimate form of power to deny the request. 
D. Tell the team and reassign that resource responsibilities to other team members. Answer A. The project management team's ability to influence others plays an important role in negotiating resource allocation, as does the politics of the organizations involved. If getting to an agreement is not possible, the issue needs to be escalated for resolution. Question 18. A security classified Azure software project requires outside expertise and delivery to add a model based on machine learning. An approved supplier asks the project manager to join the daily meeting with the supplier's Azure team, but the project manager's schedule is too full with internal meetings. How could the two teams synchronize interactively but somewhat less frequently. A. Set up fishbowl windows at each side. B. Add and execute a scrum of scrum layer. C. Align interactions for common retrospectives. D. Share a common electronic Kanban. Answer B. The Scrum of Scrum allows both teams to have their own daily meetings, while adding a more targeted meeting between them at a less frequent pace. Distractors are inappropriate because of security concerns. Fishbow, low frequency and pertinence, retrospective, or lack of live interaction can ban. Question 19. The marketing director is displeased that the Azure innovation team is producing too many novelty products with too little business value. What should the project manager do to correct the team's approach? Select 2. A. Work with the product owners to tighten value criteria in the definition of ready. B. Ask the team to take a training course on direct response marketing. C. Increase the story signs to integrate more valuable features. D. Survey and users and integrate the resulting value rank into the product backlog. Answer A and D. The DOR and user value ranking in the backlog address the root problem of not focusing on value. Distractors are wrong because large stories are bad practice. Marketing comes after value and approval of all stories is efficient and not agile. Question 20. An Azure innovation team is highly productive. However, the head of operations informs the product owner the company is not getting sustainable return on investment from the team's work. How should the product owner address the problem? A. Define a minimum viable product with the team and prioritize relevant backlogged items. B. Reduce the number of team members as necessary to guarantee a positive return on investment. C. Identify minimum marketable features and prioritize relevant backlog items. D. Work with the project manager to run a retrospective and perform project cancellation. Answer C. Frequent release of smaller incremental products is the fastest way to get return on investment. Minimum marketable features are ready for public launch, whereas MVP is a release that hatches enough to function. Reducing the team would not allow to accelerate value as needed in this case. Question 21. An efficient, empowered Azure innovation team do not understand 
why require approvals from the legal department are allowed to delay their progress. Eventually, the team confronts the product owner in a heated retrospective exchange. The product owner replies that the approvals are needed to check for existing patents which would block the team's product from going to market. How should such conflicts be prevented? A. Require that supporting department stakeholders attend the daily meetings to report progress. B. Ensure that the product owner can be easily approached to respond to team questions and concerns. C. Require the team to move a story to the Kanban blocked column if they have concerns about progress. D. Ensure that the product owner presents the team the rationale behind the refinement workflow. Answer B. The conflict is due to a lack of communication as well as inaction to prevent delay. The most comprehensive response is to ensure constant communication between the team and product owner. Distractors are incorrect because unrealistic. Daily meetings, inefficient block column or incomplete refinement rationale. Question 22. A new Azure innovation team could be set up with a mission to place product quality above all other considerations. The initiative comes after a number of high visibility complaints on social networks about the brand's drop in quality. Which method would be most effective to achieve the team's goals? A. Raise the product price to fund use of better quality materials. B. Benchmark features against competitor products and check defects. C. Create an automated testing band to eliminate human error. D. Use test-driven development based on continuous user-focused group input. Answer D. TDD ensures quality standard before development, but continuous user input is the most important to determine the target. Distractors do not include user input as a means to understand quality gap perception. Question 23. An Azure development team finds a workaround to remove a significant blocker. Their output increases dramatically over the next two iterations. At the third iteration retrospective, the product owner is horrified to learn about the workaround and asks the team to redo the work based on a better solution. How can the project manager prevent such situations? A. Set out all decision path conditions in the ground rules and correct any deviations as early as possible. B. Request additional funding from the product owner for rework due to lack of collaboration with the team. C. Ensure regular engagement with the product owner and run catch-up meetings if necessary. D. As servant leader, help the team to focus by offloading all work on removing impediments. Answer C. The product owner has ultimate authority on the scope of the product. Thus, product owner engagement is critical when considering scope changes. Distractors are either unrealistic, decision rules and extra funding, or violates Azure principles complete afloat. Question 24. The Azure team is composed of highly skilled product design engineers. Their reputation for quality and speed has earned them new duties in concept development for new products, but team output in this new role has dropped steeply compared to their design work. Which measures are most effective to improve team productivity in this case? Select 2. A. Plan a creativity spike in the next iteration. B. 
B. Seek creative thinkers to mentor the team. C. Prolong the iterations to adjust to new tasks. D. Hire more T shaped profiles into the team. Answer B. D. The key problem of the team is that they are specialists thrown out of their comfort zone. Mentoring and diversifying the team to be more cross-functional is the most efficient measures. Relying on the team's existing skill set spike, boosting their motivation or prolonging iterations do not address the root problem of specialization. Question 25. An innovative product fails to satisfy targeted consumers despite significant investments in quality control and marketing campaigns. Which agile practice would best prevent future failures of this nature? A. Run continuous consumer usability testing on product releases. B. Align objectives between the product owner and marketing. C. Broaden the personal type definition of the target consumer. D. Add more features and tests to the minimal viable product. Answer A. Continuous user testing and feedback is the most effective way to align requirements to user needs and integrate them incrementally into product releases. Distractors are wrong because marketing also relies on user feedback, a broader personal would dilute focus and relevance, and the MVP should not include features of unknown appeal. Question 26. At the end of an Azure project, all stories are completed on schedule and all tests passed, but the customer does not consider the product a success. Which is the most effective way to prevent this outcome in future projects? A. Ensure that the product vision is approved by the customer before developing the backlog. B. Agree with the customer on success criteria to be integrated to the definition of done. C. Collect customer feedback on incremental release demos and user tests. D. Ensure that the test plan includes non-functional requirements in the backlog. Answer C. Continuous and incremental customer or user feedback is the best way to ensure that the product addresses identified and non-identified needs throughout its development. Distractors are wrong because the product vision and success criteria do not capture non-expressed requirements and non-functional requirements must always be included. Question 27. An Azure team is struggling to solve a blocking issue with packaging design. Eventually, they find a solution, but it requires a different product format. What should the team do before further developing the solution? A. Create a prototype and demo it to the end customer. B. Ask the product owner to approve the change. C. Run a cost or benefit analysis to determine its value. D. Check if the change is consistent with the product vision. Answer B. This is a case where basic product characteristics may be affected by the change and might not be captured in the product vision. The PO is responsible for shaping the product in collaboration with stakeholders. Question 28. What should the project manager do to gain a stakeholder's approval if the stakeholder believes a project's deliverables were not achieved? A. Review the project scope while analyzing the stakeholders' needs and expectations. B. Review the project charter thoroughly with the stakeholder on a conference call. C. Ensure that the stakeholder understands the quality management plan. 
they perform a risk analysis after obtaining the stakeholders' new requirements. Answer A. Monitor stakeholder engagement is the process of monitoring project and stakeholder relationships and tailoring strategies for engaging stakeholders through modification of engagement strategies and plans. The key benefit of this process is that it maintains or increases the efficiency and effectiveness of stakeholder engagement activities as the project involves and its environment changes. This process is performed throughout the project. Question 29. A company is losing market share to disruptive competitors with new business models. A cross-functional Azure team has been formed to recommend ways to recover market share. How can the team increase their chance of producing successful recommendations? A. Gain a deep understanding of why customers are disappointed by the company's products. Be focused on enabling profitable delivery of unique, high quality and innovative products. C. Understand how the competitor's business models can reach more consumers at a lower cost. D. Focus on understanding the value consumers seek and the value competitors offer. Answer D. The first principle of the Azure Manifesto focuses on value. Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuously delivery of valuable software. Markets and are driven by the value consumers attribute to their offerings. Distractors are wrong because analysis is incomplete if only focusing on lost business, disappointed customers, market rate, competitors, or an uninformed push for innovation and profitability. 30. Members of a virtual Azure team are separated by seven time zones. Daily meetings are too long and the problem is made worse by switching laptop cameras between the speaking members. Which measures should the project manager take to achieve shorter, more efficient daily meetings? Select two. A. Use the iteration reviews to discuss the Kanban board. B. Require all members to stand during the full meeting. C. Place webcams to face the Kanban boards and teams. D. Ask the team members to raise blockers offline. Answer B. C. Standing meetings limited to one webcam per group has been shown to reduce meeting times without losing efficiency. Distractors are wrong because they remove key content of the meeting, can ban review, blockers, and the three questions per member. Thank you for watching.